democracy. So a lot is made of, you know, Trump supporters and people who voted for Trump. Uh, a lot of them uh, allegedly were concerned about the economics and how factories weren't open up and they were left behind and there were these swaths of the country that felt disenfranchised. But that doesn't jive with the information that we have now. The economy uh, is superheated. It is doing very well right now. Uh, consumer confidence is up, even though that's just a feeling. It is up. Con consumer confidence is up. The unemployment late rate is at the, at a fit, uh, at a 50-year low. Um, wages, although not rising at the rate uh, that they should be, are rising. So there is no need, uh, there is no financial angst, so people are working. But yet, look at the people that we're concerned about. We're concerned about immigrants coming to America and taking our jobs. Um, hatred uh, on the rise also, uh, uh, the, the unemployment rate is lower, um, the economy is doing better, but what is rising also is hate. Hate is on the rise. Uh, the racial hatred, uh, anti-Semitic hatred, uh, you know, hatred versus, uh, you know, the LBGTQ community, it's certainly a hatred against immigrants, it is rising. And you can't say it's because people are poor or because people aren't doing well financially. Now, I, everybody's not doing the same. It's not all equal, but the economy's doing well. If you don't work right now, it's because you don't want to. But look at what's happened over the last few months. You had a governor in uh, Florida say racist thing in DeSantis, don't monkey this election up. When he was, uh, found out his... Uh, his uh, opponent was going to be black the first day he did, you had Trump go back him up. You had uh, Kemp say racist things and Trump go back him up. You have uh, the, the young lady in Mississippi who talked about if there was a lynching, she would sit on first front, front row even though she's running against a black candidate and Trump goes and backs him up. It isn't, people don't hate. This is not like the 30s where, you know, Hitler came or when Hitler came into power because the economy was bad and he stoked fear and hatred. We are able to find hate when things are going well. Everybody always talked about it's the economy and, and it's because people feel left behind. And it's, it is because we are steeped in hatred. We are good at it. You can say some of the things these elected officials have said recently, they should automatically be disqualified, summarily dismissed. But they're not. Look at the percentage of people who voted for people. Look who voted for Roy Moore Jr., even though he was a pedophile. Look who voted for these people, even though they're racist. It is not the economy. The economy is doing well. It cannot sustain this. So imagine when we have trouble for real, when they're economic trouble for real. Hatred is all around us, and it is rising, even though people's economic prospects are better than they have been for some people in decades. And people always said people vote their pop pocketbook. People vote their compassions. People vote their concerns. People vote their hate. It's not the economy. They used to always, there was a book called, when politicians were running, it was called, it was the, it's the economy, stupid. It isn't. It's the hatred, stupid. It's the little note from the GED section. That's uh, the, the, the uh, Jazz Report is coming up in 15 minutes on the D.L. Hughley Show, right after LMA trip on the D.L. Hughley Show.